um, my name is Commissioner Frank Avila and today is Wednesday, August 1st, 2012 and I'm with the Illinois Natural History Survey. Uh, we're up here on the Illinois River uh, at Havana, Illinois and we're out on a boat uh, looking at the Asian carp and uh, yes, there are Asian carp in the Illinois River and yes, the Asian carp are up outside of our locks in Lockport. The Asian carp are an invasive species that threatens the Great Lakes. Since the 1970s, these fish migrated from the Mississippi River into the Illinois River and are approaching Chicago. There are five different types of carp found in the wild. The common carp was brought to America by German immigrants in the early 1800s to feed the railroad workers. This fish can be found in every U.S. state except Alaska. It is also present in all five Great Lakes, but because of their diet, they pose no threat to the ecosystem of the Great Lakes. They are orange in color. Technically, all five of the carp species are from Asia. So even though the common carp has been around a long time, it was originally a native species to Asia. So we shouldn't forget that Asian carp has been around long before the big head and silver carp showed up. The grass carp originally came from freshwater rivers and lakes from as far south as Vietnam to as far north as the Chinese-Siberia border. They have been in the U.S. since 1963 and were brought to the U.S. to be stocked in ponds and lakes to control aquatic weeds. However, they are banned in 12 states, including Michigan. Yep. And black carp is very similar. This looks a lot like a grass carp. Okay, yeah. Yep. Oh, very similar body nice. shape. Look at that one. Grass carp. How much does that weigh, would you say? Six, seven pounds? Maybe shade over, eight or ten? Yeah, I'd give me eight. Ten would be a good good round number. Yeah. He's pretty hefty. Yeah. Very healthy fish. Now the difference, like the eyes point down on the Asian carp? And... Yes, yeah, so larger scales. This one has larger scales. Body shape. Body much shape. Much more torpedo shape. Yeah, yeah. bigger. Huge scale. We brought these in uh, actually to control vegetation in lakes. Yeah. And uh, now they're <laughs> they do very well. They're breeding freely in the in the system now. We pulled up, up a hoop net last year that had uh, 88 uh, 88 grass carp in. That would have been one of the smaller ones. Oh, oh yeah, Lord. one hoop net. I I want to do the math on how much that hoop net weighed. Oh, Every God. fish was. That one might be 700 millimeters. Every fish was 800 to 900 to 1,000 millimeters. Mm. Well, they're they strong broke the hoop fish. net bringing it in. They're they strong, so strong fish. The black carp came from Chinese waters, mostly from southeastern China, where they are cultivated. In the United States, they came to the lower Mississippi River around the 1980s. The black carp are much darker than the other types of carp and tend to be bottom feeding fish. Their diet consists of native snails and mussels, in particular the ones that maintain natural wildlife habitats. They were imported to the U.S. as a control agent for yellow grub. The black carp may be the next invasive species that the Army Corps of Engineers have to prevent and control from coming into the Chicago waterway system and the Great Lakes. The silver carp originally came from northeast and northern China, where it was cultivated. The fish arrived in U.S. waters around 1970 and are considered a serious threat to the Great Lakes. They were brought in to control algae growth and aquaculture and municipal wastewater treatment facilities. They escaped from captivity soon after their importation due to flooding. The silver carp can jump up to 10 feet in the air. The sounds from boats and other watercraft can disturb them. The jumping can result in serious injury to boaters and fishermen. The silver carp can potentially harm other fish by eating the plankton that serves as the food source for native fish. Although this particular fish likes lakes, their young spawn in shallow rivers. A female silver carp can lay up to a million eggs. However, most will not survive to adulthood. The fishery survey department. Yeah, right now as we speak, I'm on the door. Looking at the native carp. Havana, Havana, Illinois. Yeah, I, I just wanted to say I'm getting a lot of questions about the Asian carp. Mm -hmm. yeah, probably not. Hailing from southern China, the big head carp is found in 26 states and arrived around the same time as the silver carp. 
They were imported to remove excess or undesirable plankton and thus improve water quality in sewage treatment plants and aquaculture facilities. Flooding allowed them to escape and began populating the Mississippi River Basin. Being the largest of the Asian carp, they have a large appetite. They eat zooplankton and phytoplankton, also known as algae, that is found in the rivers and lakes. The big head carp prefer lakes, but their young spawn in small rivers that are at least eight feet deep. Big head carp females can produce well over a million eggs a year. However, most will not survive to adulthood. The silver and big head carp made their way into Illinois waterways by going up the Mississippi River, into the Illinois River, into the Des Plaines River right downstream from the Lockport Locks. They were imported from Southeast Asia to the Southern United States to help aquaculture and wastewater treatment facilities and to keep retention pools clean. Flooding caused the fish to escape into the Mississippi River system. If the Asian carp were to invade the Great Lakes, they will potentially cause damage to the ecosystem, the economy, property, and humans. They cause damage to the ecosystem by competing with native fish for food, potentially causing declines in native species populations. With the decline in native species population, they cause harm to the Great Lakes fishing industry. Asian carp, specifically the silver carp, are easily startled by engine noises from boats and will jump in the air about as high as 10 feet. Silver carp, on average, weigh around 20 to 30 pounds and are capable of eating 5 to 20 percent of their body weight each day. Their high jumping can cause damage to boats, watercraft, property, and cause severe injury to humans. Big head and silver carp migrate upstream or rivers to breed. Eggs and larvae drift downstream to develop. These fish are fast growing and can weigh up to 100 pounds. They are also highly prolific, producing up to 1 million eggs. There are no North American fishes large enough to eat an adult Asian carp. White pelicans and eagles, however, have been seen feeding on juvenile or smaller adult Asian carp. Largemouth bass have often been observed feeding on small juvenile Asian carp, and many other native predators probably also feed on them before they grow too large. However, Asian carp produce many offspring which grow quickly and if conditions are good, rapidly become too large to be eaten by North American predators. There are ways the Army Corps of Engineers are trying to prevent the Asian carp from entering the Chicago area water system and the Great Lakes. Currently, the Army Corps of Engineers are using electrical barriers to prevent the Asian carp from proceeding further up the Chicago area water system. The electrical barriers are a series of three barriers with an array of underwater electrodes. The electrodes generate an electrical field from the bottom of the river to the top of the water column. Fish attempting to penetrate the field are exposed to a shock, deterring them from swimming in the area. So far, this has proven to be the best tool used against the Asian carp. The electric barriers were originally built to repel exotic fish brought from cargo ships that sailed from the St. Lawrence waterways from entering the Illinois River system and making their way to the Mississippi River. Now the electric barriers are used to repel Asian carp from entering the Chicago River system. On December 3, 2009, Rotenone, a fish toxicant, was released into the Chicago Sanitary and Ship Canal to prevent Asian carp from entering Lake Michigan. The action to release the toxicant into the canal was in response to the required scheduled maintenance of one of two electric barriers currently in operation on the Chicago Sanitary and Ship Canal. Rotenone is a toxicant that is used in the control of fish. The toxin enters the bloodstream of the fish through the gills and causes death. The poison, when used properly, poses no harm to humans or other animals since it was designed only to kill gill-breathing organisms, including Asian carp. The Illinois Department of Natural Resources, in coordination with the multi-agency Asian Carp Rapid Response Work Group, managed the application of the rotenone. The Metropolitan Water Reclamation District was not involved with the application of the toxicant. However, the district cooperated with the multi-agency work group by allowing the agencies access to the district land and the canals. The Metropolitan Water Reclamation District Commissioner Frank Avila held the only big head Asian carp that was found during the project. The big head carp was found upstream from the Lockport Powerhouse. The majority of the other fish found were common carp and other species. At the present time, the multi-agency work group is continuing to work together to address the ongoing Asian carp issue. Another unique way the Asian carp are being combated is by fishermen actually fishing them. 
As the Asian carp population grows, fishermen are beginning to catch the Asian carp and sell them on the market. Asian carp can go for as much as $4 per fish. In Asian communities in China, Japan, New York, California, and Chicago, there is a high demand for silver and big head carp. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency is distributing $8 million among 21 universities and nonprofit organizations for invasive species research. More than 180 exotic fish, bacteria, and other species have made their way to the lakes, many in ballast water of ocean going cargo ships that began visiting the region's ports after the St. Lawrence Seaway opened in 1959. They've caused hundreds of millions of dollars worth of economic losses while upending native ecosystems. Scientists believe dozens of other invasive species are waiting in the wings in addition to the Asian carp. Currently, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are doing a study to investigate the migration of the Asian carp species. The study isn't due until 2013. You can also help in the prevention of Asian carp by doing the following. Do not move fish from one location to another. Never use wild-caught bait fish in waters other than the ones where they originally came from. Learn the difference between juvenile Asian carp and juvenile gizzard shad. Both have a lot of similarities. If you discover Asian carp in your area, call the Department of Natural Resources Division of Fisheries at 217-785-8872. I love